So today is six weeks on the trail. I feel so good about it. I feel like I'm really getting into the swing of things. I've got a routine down. I feel good physically and I feel like confident that I'm going to make it to Katahdin. I spent last night at Mountain Harbor Hostel in Tennessee and it was awesome. Best hostel by far so far. Got a late start this morning because I couldn't pass up their breakfast. They have a lunch truck where they do like an all you can eat breakfast that was bomb. So I didn't get on the trail until about nine. So it should be a hot one. I'm trying to do 18 miles today. So I'm gonna get into camp a little bit later than I'm used to, but that's all right. Hell yeah, mile 400 on my six weeks. You are a fool if you skip this. Okay. I think someone was drunk when they did that blaze. nice is this? It looks brand new. Like I might get splinters on my butt. <sighs> yep. So I made it to Moreland Gap Shelter. And even though this is, like I said, the one of the later times that I have ever gotten to camp, um, it's only like 4.30. <laughs> so I did 18 miles pretty quick and there's only one other person at the shelter. <laughs> so I'm still ahead of the game. Anyways, I'm going to go find water because it's supposedly like 200 yards away. All right, this is the first time we're gonna try a strawberry Pop-Tart and peanut butter, so AKA oh, yeah. peanut butter and jelly. I just don't have jelly. Mmm! <laughs> Dropped it. Not bad. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up a little on the early side tonight. I am a little bit behind on my video editing, so I'm gonna go chill in my tent and just work on that stuff. Great day today, over 18 miles, and it really was no big deal. Last couple miles felt long, but it always does, whether it's a six mile day or a 20 mile day. <laughs> no real views, but a lot of fun little waterfalls and water crossings, and I hit mile 400, so that's always a good day. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, first of all, good morning. Second of all, I just saw my first bear. Um, I kind of thought it was a dog at first, to be honest. It like was down in like a valley. It heard me and just took off like a freaking shot. And just, I don't know, the way it ran, I just saw black and thought it was a dog. It was kind of far away, so it didn't look that big. And so it took a minute to like really process, but there's no one else around. It's just after seven in the morning. It wasn't anywhere near the trail or anything like that. It's definitely a bear. So my heart's racing and it's exciting because I've been kind of stressed about seeing one, I think, but um, that was a good way to see one. I would be stressed if it were sniffing around my tent when I was asleep, but to just see one in the middle of the day or morning was pretty cool. This will probably be our only view for the day. So I just came upon this old cabin in the middle of the woods and this lovely <laughs> snakeskin that someone dangled from the board. Thinking about moving in here after I'm done. Fast little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, 
and I'm soaking wet and freezing cold and it's only about two miles to the hostel I think so I don't think I will be drying out it is pretty humid today but it was so worth it All right, we just made it to Hampton. Got a little walk to get into town and my eyes are peeled for fucking Dunkin' Donuts. All right, resupplying is done. I got my breakfast, which are lacking breakfast essentials this time. These are my lunches, which I love having pretty done every day in the Ziplocs so because then I just throw one outside on the path, on the outside pouch. Trail mix, dinners, which are like peanut butter and jelly concoctions, desserts, I got knockoff Girl Scout cookies, which I'm psyched about, and drinks. All right, so I am chilling at Braymar's Hostel in Hampton, Tennessee, and it's been awesome. I feel bad this place, it was mismarked in the guidebook. It doesn't show like that they have laundry and showers and stuff like that. So I don't think a lot of people choose to stay here, but they do have laundries and showers and it has been awesome. The guy that kind of runs the place, Alex, has been so nice. He gave us a ride into town. There's a random tractor driving by. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this place has been great. We've been watching, we watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now we're watching Blow, fun night with some other hikers. And I've been a little distracted tonight because I finally posted my goodbye YouTube video on the Trex website tonight. So as of now, I'm not even gonna be posting this, but I'm still videoing anyways, and maybe we'll post in the future. And the tractor's driving back by. <laughs> Anyways, it feels like a weight off my shoulders because it's just been a lot of negativity lately and I don't need that shit. So now I am just videoing for myself. So hello future self when you watch this down the road um, and it feels good. So I am going to enjoy the rest of my night and the rest of my fucking hike in some peace and quiet. <laughs> Although it's supposed to be thunderstorms for like at least the next 10 days straight and that's as far as the weather shows so maybe even longer I don't know so it should be interesting but hitting the trail tomorrow morning regardless so see you then Good morning so I'm getting back on the trail right now and here's the deal so yesterday when we came into town, there's basically the Appalachian Trail and then there's a side trail that's a mile that goes pretty much straight into downtown Hampton, Tennessee. If you didn't take the side trail, the Appalachian Trail continues and goes over a mountain and then it comes out to that same main road again that goes into town, but it's like two miles away from town at like a recreation center. Anyways, we took the side trail into town so we wouldn't have to deal with a shuttle or anything. Now, coming back out of town, a lot of people skip that mountain. Instead of taking that side trail back to the AT, they just get a ride to the recreation center and keep going and miss like five miles. Now, I don't like to say I'm a purist or anything, but I don't feel right about skipping five miles. Even though this mountain, there's like no view and it's just a pointless up and down. Shit, I don't know which way I'm going. Fuck shit shit. I think this way. Anyways, so here I am this morning in the pouring rain. Walked from downtown to the side trail. I'm on the side trail right now, so I got that extra like mile and a half to get to the AT. Then I'm gonna do the five miles over the mountain. And then I think I'm gonna do like another 10 miles. So it's gonna be a long day in the fucking rain. And I'm letting my hair get wet today, which is probably a bad decision because it's supposed to rain for like, I don't know, a week and a half straight and it's never gonna fucking dry, but it's too freaking hot to wear a rain jacket and a hood and the whole thing. So it's warm and muggy and hopefully, whoa, as I slip, you know, I won't freeze to death at night with wet hair, but it's been pretty warm. So I think it'll be fine. Anyways, so here I am 
fucking doing what I'm supposed to do. Hashtag purist life. <laughs> Should be an interesting day. So I'm almost to the bottom, finally, of Pond Mountain, which is the one I was telling you about that some people skip. <laughs> and I can see it. By the time I get to the bottom, I will have done like, I don't know, like six and a half miles. I and mean, I'm gonna come out to a road, which I could have just walked the road and done two miles. And I don't know, I just did like 300 and fucking 90 switchbacks on the way up this mountain. There's no view at the top. <gasps> so yeah, I get how it seems kind of pointless and people skip it. But you know, if you want the exercise, then there's that or like me, if you really care about the miles, then you'll do it. <laughs> but if you are physically fit already, or happily unfit, and you don't care about the miles, I would skip it. <laughs> Although I did see three toads, one of which I almost impaled with the tip of my trekking pole, but luckily I saw him last minute. You know, so there's some wildlife, so no regrets. All right, so the trail just popped me out to this park and the AT is behind me now, but there's a building over there. I think there's restrooms there. No point in really getting dry because I got a long day still, but I'm going to go take a little dry bathroom break. <laughs> taking a little snack break under a roof at the recreational center. Eating a peanut butter banana cliff bar, which is the best one. I got 9.1 miles to go to the shelter that I wanted to go to. So I'm gonna put my phone away because even though it's supposedly waterproof, I don't really trust that. And it's just been downpouring. So. Phone's going away unless the rain lets up at all. I'm gonna put my head down, do my 9.1, and set up my tent and call it a day. So I'll see you later. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna take my phone out, but I couldn't pass up getting this dam. I just think it's so pretty. All right, so I did make it the 9.1 to Vanda Benter shelter, and I decided to push on. It had been downpouring most of the day, and then the rain let up like 45 minutes before I got to the shelter, probably. And when I got there, I realized that there was no real tent sites. I mean, it says there is in the app, but I would have been like on a serious hill. So it was only 2.30 since the rain let up. I decided to chance it and just push past. I've already done 16 plus miles, but there's a tent site listed like four miles past it and then another shelter listed like six and a half miles past it. So I'm just gonna keep going and um, we'll see where I end up. All right, I made camp for the night and no one else is here. And it's about five o'clock. So I keep upping my peanut butter and jelly game. This is peanut butter, strawberry pop tart, strawberry jam, dried fruit, and honey. So today is pretty much over. It was a good one despite the rain. I did 18.8 miles plus the 1.3 miles to get to the trail. So it was a 20 mile day. I'm pretty proud of that. I also just hung my bear bag, which is still the worst part of my day, but I am getting better at it. So I'm gonna wrap up this video and I'll catch you on the next one.